Do you think you're using the best strategies to ensure optimal care coordination for patients with anemia and low-risk myelodysplastic syndrome? Let's find out. We are the Oncology Brothers. Let us talk about how we can collaborate and use all our available resources to enhance health outcomes for individuals with symptomatic anemia and low-risk MDS. As an interdisciplinary care team in hematology oncology, we rely a lot on people in our team. For example, our nursing staff who can play a pivotal role in appreciating some of the chronic side effects in our patients. As a hematologist, it is important for us to remember that we have resources at our disposal and relying on other team members is critical. More on this in later part five video with Dr. Andrea Dean. Better outcomes for our patients due to a cohesive interdisciplinary team are backed by multiple studies. The secret sauce to optimize our patient outcomes still remains trust, empathy, and exploring how we can do better. Then focusing on how symptomatic anemia impacts the quality of life or how our available treatments will improve their day-to-day -day activity is so important. One point that I cannot stress enough is the need of us as a hematologist in the community to reach out to our primary care physician peers to make sure of the importance of timely referral. This space is rapidly evolving and we want to make sure that we can manage some of these symptoms in a timely manner. Now, once we collaborate, coordinate and ensure accessible care for a patient at right time based on their needs, values and preferences, we can prioritize therapies that reduce transfusion dependence for our patients with anemia in low risk MDS, especially those who have become refractory to erythropoietin stimulating agents. The impact that these decisions have on quality of life and long-term outcomes is extremely important. We have assessment tools we can use to ask questions about their symptoms, in particular fatigue, weakness, and about their physical, emotional, and social health. It can be challenging to incorporate patient-reported outcomes into our practice, as these can take time. In fact, one study on the impact of MDS and quality of life found that patients care more about how symptoms impact their everyday life. Finally, fostering a collaboration between academic and community hematologists and oncologists to help manage patients with anemia in low-risk MDS is what we would like to emphasize. Hematology and oncology and patient care is a team sport. Thanks for joining us. Now head over to the part four of the video tag below to hear more and to get credit for this activity, don't forget to answer the questions on the link below.